Louisville National Champions 1980. Cardinals have won the national championship. 75th NCAA College Basketball Champions. Welcome, everybody, to an emergency edition of the Third Banner Pod. I'm Ash. We've got Kyle, Ty, Connor. Ross will be bringing in here in just a second, and I think Pat's going to join us, too. But we have some urgent stuff to talk about, boys. What the hell? I'm playing out-of-the-park baseball on my computer. Just have the TV on in the background, and all of a sudden, I hear the TV say, Dusty made in Michigan. What the hell, boys? Well, I can say I, I apologize to anybody that, like, you know, we, we were pretty adamant he was coming. I I stand by that our information was correct, but what I've learned, and we're a young upstart podcast, what I've learned is even when everybody in the world's telling you it's done, like everybody, it got to the point where everybody connected to this program that had a voice was on the same page. They had the press conference ready. They had the, that's why they took the chairs and stuff. Somebody on the boards had said earlier today, the same person that said it was going to be a 2 p.m. press conference said the same person told him press conference is canceled and didn't give a reason. That should have been my first red flag. And I did reach out to somebody and just ask if there was any issue. He always gets back with me. He never, he, he, he did not get back with me. Um, so, I thought maybe it was just a busy day for him. You know, it's a weekend. It's not his job to just immediately answer questions all the time. And I try not to text him too much anyway. But now I kind of get it. Obviously, this was the case. And, I mean, I apologize in the future. I'm just going to leave that to somebody else, man. Even if everybody in the world thinks it's done until they actually literally sign, it's not. And um, I'll take that L. I will take the L for – my part in promoting i know i'm not the only one but i'll take the l for the pod because i posted it on the pod i posted on behalf of the pod and so it's a reflection of the pod and i'm just i'm sorry guys like i we really thought he was ours well my my feeling is that they probably even U of L sources probably felt like they had him and in the last (laughs) minute michigan's just up the offer and, you say it was like six million in Michigan? Yeah, but it's a lesson learned, man. I'm not even going to say that crap anymore. Like, I'm going to let Chad nah. or whoever. Don't be like Jeff that, Goodman. Kyle. Don't be like that. Don't, don't be mean, like that. I don't because, want stuff, I mean, man. everybody was getting the same. We saw the chair set up in the yum. We saw him set up. Brom home guy, whether you like him or not, was getting he, the same information. Crawford was people. getting the same information. Like, it, that it is what it is. It seems like Michigan made a last ditch pitch, and they probably prioritized him and sold him on more money, and that's where he went. It is what it is. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It, May was never going to make or break this program at, at this potential point in this hire. He wasn't. So. Now you are in a little bit, if you're Josh Hurd and you're U of L, you are a little bit of a dire straits because you had honed in on this guy. Now, now you're rallying. You better, you better take some of the things that you were saying and throw them aside. And you better go get somebody like Will Wade or a Chris Beard. Because they're Thank there. Yeah. They're there for the taking. I know and if you ain't if you're gonna be risk adverse. You're going to get somebody way further down on your list, and you're going to screw up on this hire. This is going to be on you, Josh. I know nobody blames me. I just real quick, and then I'll let you guys go. I just, I wish I didn't say anything. You know, I just wish I didn't. I really it's thought just, we had them, and there's just a lot of emotions right now about this. Like it just seems like we got blindsided as not just well, yeah, it was. In, I'm talking about we as in Louisville. I feel like our program got blindsided. It's and just a sucks. little lesson for us to you know, going forward, like we can't, um, you know, until it's officially official and we're done. Um, I mean, what what have I said on this pod before? Never say never, never say never. Yeah. This just felt felt so legit, but it's a new, it's a, it's a lesson learned for experience purposes. Just leave it be, you know, I gotta apologize. Y'all caught me at my dinner time. Like, 
I literally bro. picked up bro, food on the way home. It's 10 o'clock, bro. Dinner at 10 o'clock. I just want to say, there were never any guarantees or promises made. On the pod. Like we, All we did was break down a likely candidate. So, like, that was not – I wouldn't say that there's anything to apologize well, I tweeted for. earlier today yeah. that it was done. And I haven't yeah. deleted a tweet. Well, I mean, I tweet then. And, um, you sh- and you shouldn't delete it. You but, should not delete it. The thing of it is, like, things change at the last minute from time to time, and there's nothing. Fun yeah. Right, yes. Yeah, anybody that's been around this stuff for as long as we have, I mean, this 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 stuff happens. It Trent, happens. Thanks for the chat here. He he wants to see Mick come on down. Not sure if we're going to get back into that. We got six of us on here. We know we don't normally do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to to uh, kind of steer the boat, and, and I'll throw it to each person to give a quick take, so that way we can kind of keep some kind of order on here. Pat, what's your immediate reaction to the news when you heard it? Embarrassing, man. Embarrassing. I mean, we have now been rejected basically publicly by two people, and we're the University of Louisville, man. I, I, and listen, I, I don't know Josh, and I, I've had confidence in him, but I, th- this is amateur hour, man. It, it, it's just, it's not a good look. You cannot have it out there that. Hey, we're going after Scott Drew. We're going to offer him seven to eight million dollars because you know what happened is Dusty May and his agents heard that, so they're not going to yep. sign a deal for for anything less four million dollars, whatever we offered them. They're going to go bid it higher, yeah. And then we wouldn't bid it that high. And I'm not, I'm not saying we should pay six million dollars for Dusty May, but it, I would. Just, Hell no. I, I I just think this was. Screwed up, man. I think it was screwed up. Here come the UK fans making fun of me. Oh, my wife's not very happy with there's me right now, man, so I can tell you that because I had to jump on here and talk about this. We've always said there's more candidates, so let's not jump off the bridge yet. Second Street Bridge needs to be clear. Ty, what what's about, your thoughts? What about Sherman Mitten? <laughs> yeah, let's not, let's not go throwing our toasters in the bathtubs, fellas. I mean, we're, uh, we're, we'll be I'm, fine. I'm going I'm to be honest, Ross. Raw emotion reaction, it's going to be pretty hard not to because here's the thing. Um, you know, it wasn't what was it just a few weeks ago? We had our state of the union. If we had a state of the union when it comes to Louisville basketball right now, our state of the union is fucking terrible. Um, <laughs> this, this was this is just another long list of embarrassing, pathetic moments in this program's history and um i'm gonna be honest i it's not it's not that i felt like dusty was going to be like just the next hall of fame hire and we would just really miss out on something but i felt very confident in his ability and i felt good about what we had all been hearing um and and his i felt confident that he was going to turn it around and to be publicly like like pat said to be publicly decline you know uh, denied t- twice now um with your top two targets is it's embarrassing it is, it is a bad look hour. i won't i won't deny it's, that it's, no, a bad look. It, it's not a, just a bad look it's a fucking horrible look that's jody what just it is said on, jody said on there that they didn't know until 20 minutes before it was announced and, Which means and there's no backup he changed right his now. mind this is what I'm going to say. Jody, Jody, that, that, Jody, that listen, sucks, man. Jody's going to give the university side. He's yeah, going to try he to will. give that side. Yep. I don't care to hear it, to be honest. I don't. No, I'm just Josh saying, heard, like, it sounds Josh like heard, nobody knew. This was amateur hour from Josh Hurd in his athletic department. And I, I really don't know where we turn. I really don't. Because all the other options, man that we that we just hear like no one no one thinks that mick was ever really serious like we we heard about it some you know here and there the pat kelsey's of the world like jesus man this is i really feel like the state of the union with global basketball is this program is on life support that's how can, I feel. can i ask a question tyler for anybody that knows when when was that post made on the message boards about the press conference being canceled. Like it was three, like four, four or ago. five hours ago. Okay, so that would have been somewhere close to the evening hours, like yeah, late so afternoon. 20 minute, a 20-minute timeline doesn't add up. You're right. 
They had yeah, to like they want to cancel they, that press they, conference. They they knew they knew a few hours ago. That's just that that's Jody being a mouthpiece. I mean, let's be honest. It, Jody's doing the whole Holly Lindsay thing these days. You know, when we were on message boards, that Jody's just a mouthpiece at this point. I mean, he's gonna he's gonna deny that, but like he knows also where his bread's buttered. I mean, the fact that they canceled that press conference and somebody leaked that four or five hours ago means the university knew four or five hours ago. I'm sorry, right. like Why at least at least, at least at so least that. Pod. So it is it, it is what it is. Like, look. It sucks, okay? It was nice that we were kind of like somewhat coming to a conclusion. I'm not going to make any bones about it. You all know. I did not want May. He was my absolute last place candidate. I wanted to get this job because I think he's mid. I think he's mid. I don't think he's going to do shit at Michigan. I didn't think he was going to do shit here. I think he was going to be just mid, and we were going to be stuck in a purgatory. There are better candidates out there right now. Bro, bro Jeff, bro, bro, I'm home, guys. Right, Mick is a pick on our pulse oh, right now. He's, he's, oh, he's, we are he's down there. He's back. He's back. <laughs> uh, Henry says, let's go get freaking Will Wade. Kyle, did you want to touch on this? Yes. You had some opinions on Will that. Wade is the choice. Pie. Will Wade is the choice. Henry, they're not going to pick Will Wade, I don't think. But, hey, we thought Dusty May was a done deal. So, you know what? Third man pod doesn't think we'll get Will Wade. The playing field has changed now. (laughs) Everything's changed. No, Ross, listen, listen. Third man pod doesn't think we're going to touch Will Wade. And we just said, I I said, that this was a done deal on my personal. So, hey, that's what we're going with. We're not going to touch him. But, seriously, Henry, I agree with you 100%. I, I don't really think we're even going to look at him, and I think it's a mistake. I know he got spanked in the tournament at McNeese, but look what Gonzaga did today. For whatever reason, Gonzaga, and this is what teams do. All of a yeah. sudden, they turn. Are you, NC State's going through it right now, too. Um, that so was a hell of a second half. I'm not going to hold that one game against him at McNeese. Bottom line is he took 30 and three. But here's what I'm afraid of. Like Jeffrey <laughs> down here says, Rutherford Buzz says Williams. Buzz Williams. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of, guys. I'm afraid it's going to be a buzz type of – I'd fucking take fire. Buzz Williams over mm-hmm. Dusty May. I'm sorry. I would. No, I'm not going to go I can't there. Be, but I can't I, lie to myself like that. Sorry. I'm not saying you're lying, but I, 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 I would not. I'm, I'm not going to be happy. Instead, guys, if it's I'm Pat sorry, Kelsey, instead. I'm not going to be happy if it's Buzz, if it's Josh Shirts. Go, sorry, you might Ty. as well hire Pat Kelly before – Sorry, Pat. Ty. Go ahead. The, the, pro- the program is fucking dead, dead guys. guys. I'm sorry. Ross, I think you're, uh, Ross, I think you're echoing. I, I'm not. Daniel, I don't think we backed out. I'm going to be honest, man. Maybe this I'm wrong. Been, I, I mean, seriously, no, seriously, and I'm going to just, and then I'm going to stop. There ha- what good has come out of Louisville basketball in the last, uh, how long? Since 2019, 20, uh, what, what is it? What is it? Well, I'll tell you what good's There's come nothing. out. Uh, athletic it's nothing directors. but bad. Athletic directors and agents love us, man, because yeah. they're just taking us to the woodshed. Yeah. Every yep. single one of them. You ain't lying, I mean, Pat. You if, ain't if, lying. If four and twenty-eight and eight and twenty-four wasn't low enough, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we just got. I mean, this is this is right up there with it. It's right Listen, up there with it, and there's no there's no like game end result to it. Holy, it's okay. just right up there with it. Breaking from Trilly. D- Dusty called Josh. This is on his Discord. I want to give him credit. Dusty called Josh Shirts this afternoon and told him he was getting cold feet. Josh Shirts or Josh Heard? Dusty called Josh Shirts his buddy. Jo- him, Dusty, and Josh Shirts are like really close. So he called. He called Josh Shirts, and I guess it somehow got back to Trilly, which isn't surprising. And he got cold feet. He wanted to hire, but I mean, nonetheless, it's a bad look for us, man. Like we didn't sell it, but at the end of the day, I guess you're right, Ross. If that's the truth, if he got cold feet, he wasn't going to make it here. But I, it he did not want the limelight. That was the ma- that was the thing I was but, scared about the most about that hire. He was going to buckle here, dude. He was okay. going to buckle under the strap, and, and that's oh. great. But then we we never should have offered him the damn job. That's the research you have to do as an athletic department, man. That's the research you have to do. I believe you should apologize on platforms when you're wrong on the platform about somebody. So armchair AD, Curry Kids, 
guys like you that have been pushing Michigan the whole time, I apologize because I really thought we had this done and I felt like you guys were just clinging because he didn't go to Ohio State. I think it I think it's pretty clear it was done. He was coming here. But there he was a there was a last right. ditch. I'm just gonna give there him was, credit, man. There was a last ditch effort by Michigan and he and they made him second guess his pick, which also going back, when you hear he took the FAU job, he 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 struggled over that opinion. He thought he had made a terrible choice going to FAU and taking that job. Like so much so broke out in hives and he was crying and shit. That is not a dude that you want here, man. I'm sorry. Like, I don't even shit on him for that. Like, it's a huge life decision. But that is not the type of dude that's going to succeed at a job like Louisville. And you're right, Pat. If that was the case, you should have never hired this chump, which is what I was saying anyways. He should have never been the choice. Right. And ever. I do have to interject and, and back Ross up in one in one aspect only. And that's that Ross, this is not sour grapes from Ross. Ross has been saying this all along, and it's the reason he wasn't on the pod Wednesday is he didn't want to come across as being a Debbie Downer when right. Kyle and Pat had put together a really, a really good – Yeah, it was a great show. It was a knowledge. great show. And, and so I didn't want it to come across as Ross having sour grapes here or anything. This has been Ross's opinion the whole time. Yep. Um, Connor, I was getting ready to throw it to you, and then you disappear because you haven't hey, had a chance I'm, to get off. I'm, I'm just me. working as Mensa member in the chat. <laughs> I'm, I'm, getting, I'm literally right getting now. ready to ask Connor for his take, and he goes hey, off this Mensa, me, member, uh, this Mensa member guy in the chat. I'm close myself. Um, yeah. Okay. Back All to right. it. This Mensa member guy in the chat talking crap, he is a clown show on his Twitter. I'm just I'm scrolling through here. I like just he make, make fun of people's dads. He uses the hard R word. Andre McGee. Like I'm saying Andre McGee now. I'm I'm just ignoring him. So I know, hey, can we just like go ahead, he sounds like an awful human being to be honest? Continue, guys. Okay. So, I mean, I don't want anybody like that in our comments. Yeah, yeah just get him out. Hard R's just just yeah. We, we're not gonna we're not gonna say man. Let him make a fool of himself. He's posting. No, I, I, I'm sorry. Me, I, I don't, I don't tolerate people saying stuff like that. But well, he's not. Say, I mean, he's saying other stuff in our chat. But I'm talking about on his Twitter. I yeah, think, people can only see what kind of human being we were dealing with. That, which, so. by the way, anytime you have to hide behind a burner on Twitter, you're scared of, of society. You're just scared. Like you're a scared human being. Let's let Connor go. Speak with your chest, bro. Use Connor's your name. got something. So, yeah. When I when I first heard this, I was on TikTok, and I just got a random Snapchat call from one of my friends. He was like, "Dusty made a Michigan," and I said, "What?" <laughs> and he said, "Go look at uh, go look at Woj's tweet." And I was like, "What are you talking about?" And I get on Twitter, and I'm like, "Shit!" And I swear to God, I said, "Fuck!" for like five minutes straight while I was on the phone with him. I didn't say anything else other than that. We're going to end up in better shape, fellas. I'm sorry. We are. We're going to end up in better shape because of this. this is a blessing. This is an absolute blessing because it depends look, on who we hire, Ross. Yeah, I it, think it, it does. It counts. really does. You're not, you're not wrong, but the rubber has to meet the road at this point now. And herd has to make, this is this, Everything's riding on herd right now, right? Look at the fact that when Mitch Barnhart hired Calipari, he did not want Calipari. Calipari won the job, and they hired Gillespie. Calipari won that job then, and Barnhart absolutely would not pull the trigger. Then Gillespie flamed out. That was on Barnhart. He was in the crosshairs of possibly getting fired. He had no choice but to listen to the people around him and they had to put they had to pull the trigger he had to pull the trigger he had to go get somebody like calipari that was much more of a risk that has two final fours vacated it worked out for kentucky it's gonna work out for us go you get, go, go get fucking saying, will wade he's I'm there i wonder if i do like the joke about shaka. Shaka. no i'm not in right. the mood to joke about shaka i, don't I actually i actually would i would I love, love to see shaka that'd be a five star hire in my opinion so i like to joke about it the thing is we've we've said this a hundred times he's not leaving marquette so it's like i agree i don't think we also about does he because i because here's the thing i and you can go ahead and clip it i don't care i'll i'm more receptive to him now 
but yeah. Yeah. He's not going to leave. He's not going to leave. So no, there's no point. He He's a five-star fallback. And, fall and I understand, like, I don't I don't. We'll know. wait. We out here. You guys, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and say whatever. You guys were clowning the Mensa guy, and, I, and I'm not, like, if he really did say other shit that's bad, that's not what I'm going for here. But his one comment, and I know he was trolling, but I kind of feel it. What makes this job that much more attractive? Like, we, we all thought that this was the number one job on the market. It's clearly fucking not. What well, makes I don't, Louisville that's, that's fine. one more person's attractive. opinion? One person's opinion. Well, that's not, that, not, no, not that's you, not, Ty. That's not one person's it's, opinion. It's Dusty. It's Dusty May's opinion. Dusty May's position is not the same as where Scott Ross, Drew is. Ross, what, it's no, one of the and hottest names. Okay, whether you think Dusty's great or not, Dusty was one of, if not the hottest name on this search, and he that's just true. took Michigan. He just lost his which first we all game. Think, which we all think is a worse job. He just chose Michigan over us. What I think he makes the Big Ten. so attractive? I'm asking you guys. Tell me what makes. Yeah, the Big I, I'm Ten. telling you, Michigan has. Michigan has. I don't think this is real hard to see. Honestly, somebody like Dusty May and a and a person like him and how he's how he's built from everything that we've heard and read, it makes sense that he would want to go to the Big Ten. One Big Ten again. If I was just guessing. When they made their initial pitch, they said, look, we're in the Big Ten. We have the more stable conference. We've got all this money coming in. We've got good good NIL. We have rich basketball history, right? And But somebody so like Dusty, somebody us, like right? Dusty, he's not going to have the spotlight on him because it's going to be on football always at Michigan, and that's going to be good for him. Oh. But he's also going to be in a, great, a better position than he was at FAU. It's a win-win for Dusty. It's a win-win for Dusty, like, to I go think, there. I it's fine. But, but that's my point, ACC Ross. You just hurt. made my point. Michigan is a better job. But It's, but it's a better, better job, job for him. To an, alpha, for now? to an alpha dog, somebody that's a real alpha that can actually handle this job, that person is going to take Louisville over Michigan Kermit. basketball every damn time. I think who's every who damn is time. It who is it? Because there, I don't think there is one out there. Who is that? Will Wade will take this job right now, and he's a better choice because that dude don't give a fuck. He's gonna go out know. there and he's gonna fuck oh, you. Okay. you. I don't. I don't on F agree bombs, that Wade. That I, I've always been a big Wade guy, but you and I. I know he's know, a better choice. You and I both know that if he was if he was taken that seriously, he would have probably got. He would have. He should have been over Dusty then. So, I mean, no, he's, he's, it's gonna be Eric Musselman, guys. Somebody wrote about Mus. Jody just I mean, dropped his hot board. Oh no, it's well, not good, it. is it? No, we might as well go in and hear this because this is straight from Josh Hurd. So, we might as well go in and hear it. Let's go in here. Shaheen Holloway's one, yes, Musselman is two, no, Abdul Rahim is three, maybe. And Pat Kelsey is four. No. Why is we okay with Pat Kelsey? Pat Kelsey, Pat Kelsey hey. Is the coach not because he beat UK before you UK fans that are in here go all in? Shaheen Holloway's matchup zone, especially against Purdue and Murray State. I like UK, Shaheen. I will say that. He should have been in the tournament this year. The Big East got screwed. The Big East got yeah. absolutely screwed. I tell you what, Shaheen Holloway is the guy. And when I found out that he yep. – was going to Seton Hall, his alma mater. I don't know if we can get him. I don't know if we can get him out of his alma mater after two years. But I don't know how their NIL is there. If it sucks, yeah. But Shaheen Hallway is that dude. He like you, dude. you want you're looking for that next coach. That. It's not you're looking for that next coach that Tracy is that Mike. hot up and comer. Shaheen Holloway is that guy. He is that guy. Oh, He's no got way. the moxie. Oh. He's got all the energy around him. Players will, will come play for him, and he knows how to coach. I'm going to have to keep my voice down. My wife's trying to sleep right above me, and she's going to be Man. Trace, you're <laughs> absolutely right. This dude does not need to be on our list. Come on now. It, it's better than Pat Kelsey. He not, but see, this is why this was so embarrassing, man. That's why we're we our list, our hot board that came straight from the AD. Because if it came from Jody, it's coming from the U of L side. Is a guy who doesn't have a, what These is that trace? He Holloway's he not have that a 500 dude crazy record. Yeah, well, he's also Raheem called have, honest trolling. Abdur Rahim doesn't have a five over five hundred. No, record. I'm talking about our guy. We know him. He says absolutely oh. not. He's crazy. No offense, <sighs> man, but Holloway is is. A legit. Coach. I like. Hey, he's a dog. He's a dog, man. 
That, that, way, dude, that dude has the goods. I, talk that about guy breaking has down Dusty May's film. If you break down Shaheen's different defenses and his offense. Yeah. yeah. His offense is, is rough, man. It, his offensive numbers, efficiency-wise. I mean, they were up to 77 this year. Before that, he never finished above 130. You talk about I mean, he's like, the, he's, like the, he's like the opposite of, of May, essentially. He's got good defenses and, and very Do we even mediocre. look at Mick? Like that's, like, that's an honest question. Do we look at Mick at this point? No, we don't. I mean, with that with that buyout, if there's no way out, of, if there's no way out of it, no, you you don't. Absolutely not. If, you you can't you can't pay that much money for Mick. You can't. So somebody just said Birdman said that TJO was on the list at one no. point. No, his buyout his buyout's like eighteen million dollars. His wife is I know. a pro athlete. His is more than Mick's. I, but I, I would pay it for him though. Probably. Shaheen Hallway got absolutely screwed out of the tournament. You can't use that NIT against him. If you they claim should. you're not trolling, then then try to act like you're not. Because Shaheen they, Hall, Seton Hall, more than any team, got got rigged out of the tournament. Nah, we good look on Calipari. Keep look him at the there. Teams, look at the teams they beat this year. Look at the record. Look at everything. Like it's somebody put Bucky Ball. I would take Bucky Ball. I, I would take Bucky Ball too at this point. At and this, this is what we're talking about. The 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 problem here, though, is and maybe we end up with a better coach, maybe. But the maybe. problem here is now we're back to square one. Uh -huh. it, it's gonna. It, it's a process again. We're gonna. It's gonna take another probably week. You know, at least to to find yeah. some way, and, and, yep. and we need to hit the ground running. Our fans need something to get excited about. We need to be looking into the portal. We need to be looking at roster construction. And now we're still looking for another coach. Yep. It's, it's, it's embarrassing. We, we we lost a week, basically, unless you're going to scramble and you're going to throw more money at somebody uh, to entice to, to expedite this process. But the problem is, is that, like, to get somebody here by the Tomorrow. end of this week, you're gonna have to over. You're gonna have to pay more for them than what you would have initially paid for them a week ago, because they know that you're desperate now. Here's another one: Do we wait for Illinois to lose and hire Brad Underwood? Brad Underwood I would has take literally Brad been Underwood. in trouble everywhere he's been. I would take Brad in Underwood. trouble. Like what Brad you Underwood has gotten trouble everywhere he's, he's got, been. He's got like crazy anger this, issues. This, this is like where that. I'm getting upset. I'm talking NCAA trouble, by the way. Yeah, I know. I mean, Oklahoma this is where I'm getting Dino Gaudio. Gaudio. This Who is this Vince again? <laughs> listen, this is where I'm getting upset, though. Here comes my daughter to tell me about her life. Um, I'm getting upset she because at some point too. you got to pick a winner and you got to just put rigorous systems in place for them to comply because you can't just pass on every coach that has a blemish. Now there yep. are some you can. There are some you can. It depends on what it is. But like we got to get out. I mean, you had your guy you wanted, you didn't get him. Now what are you going to do? You can't just go down a list to mediocre after mediocre candidate because you you can't do it. You're going to lose your job, man. Yeah. You're gonna lose your job. Yep. Yeah, it's it the, the the optics of all of this are not great and it looks that for for somebody like her this was like his first real big hire like this was on him and he was controlling this the optics of this both locally and nationally look like you got played and it looked like you we did it, I mean it's not it's not a great look it's not in I'm Anthony's optimistic right. that it's going to work out for us, but in the short term, as it is right now, it, it, it's not. It's not a great look. It's really not. It, it, there's no way around that. You didn't do anything to help solidify that a job like Louisville and its prestige and its tradition was more of a selling point than Michigan and its in its big conference, its conference stability, and its in its big money. Right. You Kyle, you lost your boy, that battle. You your lost boy Rick that. Barnes might be losing tonight. Man, Rick Barnes. I, I don't know. He, he's like no he's almost seventy years right old. I can't 
yeah, somebody in the comments the other day said we should be going after Rick Barnes, and I was like, blow it, Barnes. Sure. Not who I want. I don't want blow it, Barnes, but it doesn't matter. I'd take blow it, Barnes over who we're going to get probably well, unless it's well, Matt home. Cater, do we? <laughs> we hey swing just drop a huge bag to Shaheen Holloway and get him out of Seton Hall seriously i know that's I don't want to overpay for Shaheen Hall, Hall apparently here's what i'm going to say Ross, but then who are we going to get we it sounds Will like I, i'm kind of with fucking Ty. wade he's if there for get, the taking Ross, we're not going to go after will wade well, i don't that's, think. that's on herd that's on herd he's, yeah, but he's we, being we risk control that yeah, but he's being risk adverse. If that's the case, yeah, I understand being risk adverse before this, before all this happened. But now you're desperate. Well, I agree with. Go you. get the guy that's the best choice out there now, and you roll the dice. You have no fucking choice now. You got played. You got played. So you gotta, you gotta go. I'm, you're I'm desperate you, now. So Ross, get the man. best candidate. I'm Ross, I, Ross. I, I, I mean, totally offer, agree with offer, you, Ross. Just, it's just not gonna happen. It's yeah. just. I mean, what what confidence do you have in Josh Hurd to do that? I have none. None. I have no I, confidence in yeah, Josh I mean, Hurd anymore. I have as much there confidence in him that he's going to do it that I don't. Shaheen I just Hall don't know. I have no idea. You, there are three like, people on his pot alone at once, Shaheen Holloway, at least. Damn. Yeah. So that's not can true. I, can I give you this about Shaheen? Because we were talking about numbers and everything here. Um, I need to go back and find. It, I'm just going, I'm just going to say there. this real quick because I know everybody's going to dismiss it, but... It, once this happens, you gotta go back and just offer ten million to Drew and make him say no. It, hashtag yeah. make him say no, season. The problem is, <laughs> I, mean, I don't think he would leave after publicly telling him he's not gonna take our job. That's why I said you gotta he, offer him a ridiculous amount that makes him pause. Listen, he didn't. What? He didn't full out come out and say no. He didn't want our job though. He like did, that he was a later. very past. It was he's a done, passive. He, he, Ross, he, did later, he did like the next day. They asked again, and he like was like, "No, I don't want any other job. I'm staying at Baylor." Okay, I mean, he could lie, but here's the thing: like he would literally. I don't know. I, I'm. I'm not. I, I, we're not getting Drew. Man. Kenny's I'm coming not. back. I don't. Brandon Lucas says, "Forget about Drew. He's just going to embarrass us twice." I don't think he's embarrassed us because I don't think that's really been a a, a talking point in a. In the national greater media. landscape of college basketball that we yeah. were talking about. Bradley Reynolds. I haven't seen that from a national a, source one time. Bradley Reynolds brings up a good point. Are y'all off tank? Let's talk about, listen, I understand I'm off tank. tank. We well, got to think. We just lost a guy we thought we had. We're, our list looks putrid right now. But, you know, I, I like Shaheen all the way. Other people don't. But beyond that, it's like. I would take you. World. So here, here's where I'm at. Like, what in the world did Jerome Tang do? that Mike Rutherford's referred to, that other people, which yeah. Mike, he never said what, but there's just this thing out there. Mm -hmm. I'm getting at, guys. There's something. At some point, <laughs> you got to make a good hire. Like, I get the Chris Beard thing. I know there's dilemmas about that, but I get the moral issue there. I totally get it. I don't understand some of these other ones, though. I just don't understand. And if, if the thought is, well, I'm going to save my job by bringing Pat Kelsey to Louisville or somebody like that. You're not I saving just, shit if you bring Pat Kelsey to I don't know what to Louisville. say, man. Like, your job is on the line with this hire. And it sucks. I mean, I'm sure I – I do want to empathize with Josh Hurd in a way. Like, it probably – he thought he had us. Dude, I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure he did. We had a press conference set up. We had a press conference set up for this guy. And he said no. <laughs> I'm, I mean, yeah, I mean, again, like on the outside, the story that's going to be sold nationally is that is Michigan's that a better job than us. Michigan at this point in time with their conference affiliation and what's coming up down the road is a better job than what U of L has to sell with their prestige and their tradition. Yeah, that's 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 the story right now. And You've got to get somebody in here that actually knows what the hell they're doing and can actually get us in to win big, big games and has has that thing in them to be able to handle this job in front of the cameras, out in the community, it, it take it control of a program and knows how to run a fucking program. Like, Excuse I'm me, sorry, I'm dropped, I, I, I'm I'm dropped like a million F-bombs tonight. I know that, but... There are guys out there that absolutely would s smoke this out of the park, and you're limiting yourself because you're afraid of the black eye that Louisville's going to take by hiring that possible person and or 
a potential problem that could happen down the road that you don't even know is going to happen. You Tonight's don't even know guy. that. You're Tonight's you're limiting. Guy. You're limiting. We're going to be labeled a villain anyways. It, it's going to happen. Yeah. So let's just embrace it. Damn it. I'm like, not here for the Holloway like, slander, man. I'm not here for it. Two NITs my ass. Okay, they here's, made what, I'm say, I'm gonna, here's what I'm going to say about Holloway. And then they got Holloway. screwed this year. Here's what I'm going to say about Holloway. Holloway. He has great defense. In 2022, St. Peter's, I'm not going back any further because Ken Palm's already hard enough to kind of navigate. But I, I just happened to find him. Either. I'm not paying for it either. In 2022, St. Peter's had an adjusted offensive efficiency of 231 okay. and a defense of 25. So the defense is great. I'm with that. Uh, Seton Hall 2023 offense got better. 133 defense is 20. That's still great. I'm good with the defense, but offense is that's awful. And then Seton Hall 2024 offense of 79 and defense of 44. So, and got screwed out of the tournament at Seton Hall in the second year and a hard conference. Got absolutely screwed. I don't want to hear about NIT because he got screwed. He got screwed. Uh, yeah. Louisville got screwed under Chris Mack that year. We didn't get in. It was even worse screwing than that. I haven't seen a screwing as bad as that. that the whole Big East got screwed this year. But they got screwed worse than any of them. The Big East as a is whole this got for screwed. Real? This be yeah. They got screwed the worst. They were the first team that should have been in that was left out. Steve you Alford were, lost on the first game of the tournament, bro. They beat freaking UConn. They smoked them. Anyway, I'm not. Didn't Seton Hall, yeah, didn't Seton Hall beat UConn by like 15? He can sell me on Holloway. I want to. I actually am okay with either of these three as fallback options, to be honest. Oh, God. I mean, I know I you guys hate him at Kelsey, but I'm looking at what he's done. It's like, you know, there's a what? lot of. Really what has he done? In there. Nothing. I mean, he made it to what the second round with Charleston. Hey, it's look. not that we have to mull over the scene <laughs> right now. Put it's that comment. Put that eight, comment on highlight. Four. AR Sheriff, put that on highlight. That comment needs to be oh, sorry. Yeah, that one right there. Absolutely. Hire Will Wade. I, mean, I said that. Throw so the long gasoline. Ago. Throw the gasoline behind did. you and walk away with the fu- blazing inferno behind you as you walk away strutting your your strut. Will Wade, man, I'm sorry, I'm I'm, I'm gonna keep saying it. Like, look, bring Brom home. Got Brom here. He damn near got Mick here. Like, he, the fans do matter more, and people we do get heard. Okay, we do get heard. We see how many people are in here tonight. Obviously, basketball matters here. People, we can't, we love basketball. This is the basketball me- college basketball mecca of the entire United States, the entire country, okay? It matters, all right? This is a big, big job, and it requires a certain person, and Will Wade is that guy. Josh Hurd, if you're listening, scrap all your cards that you had before, man. Get rid of that because you're desperate now. Your job is really on the line right now, really on the line, and so – are you going to go get somebody super mid that was further down on your list? Or are you going to go get the better candidate that might be a possible a might be a possible red flag but you don't even know because Ross, you can't I'm, predict the future. You I'm cannot predict the future. I don't feel like this job is that big anymore. Well, and my thing is, I mean, as far as Will Wade is concerned, this was my number one selling point with Will Wade was that he had the swag to tell the the NCAA to f off. Yes, and I felt like that yes. kind of attitude could unite our fan base. That said, yes. I don't think he's a, a serious candidate because I don't mm-hmm. think our administration is going to consider him. Yep. I well, that's, that's, that's a failure that in anymore, our. Gosh. That's a failure in our leadership. Then, sorry, <laughs> it is. It's a failure. Oh, somebody right. said, somebody said John Blue had tweeted out earlier. John Blue that, said, "Josh, you're on the clock." So that's the thing. Our booster's going to be like. I feel like they're looking at the candidates just like we are. Are they going to push for a Will Wade? Hey, well, Tom here's back the thing. in town. Tom when is, in, hey, Tom is back in town. And you remember who Tom has a really good relationship with? John Blue. <laughs> Beside that, <laughs> coach, coach. Who, who, who is, who is? Uh, Nick. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, what, what's Tom's know. wife's name? Who? What? Who? What is Tom's wife's name? I'm drawing a blank right no now. No idea. I don't know what his wife's name is. Oh, gee, Jesus Christ. Who's her, Who's one of her really good friends? Where are we going? No Where? idea, bro. Keep going, man. Keep going. Jay, Keep going. Wright, Jay Wright's wife. 
Jay Wright's oh. wife is a very successful lawyer in Philly. She yeah, oh. and she's really good friends with uh, Terry Lynn. There, that, we're we're that's down her name. bad, man. Guys, we just got we're we dreaming just about got Jay Wright. We got turned Dusty down by May. Dusty May. We just got turned down by Dusty May to Michigan, what? which uh, I'm I, not like that's not a slight to Michigan. Michigan's a great school and a good basketball job, but it's. This job is not as big as we thought it was. Tom so it just does not matter thought. anymore. Like Tom and Josh said. Heard going to swing and get Jay Wright. Going to fish I, him in. I just had this thought. Yeah. <laughs> Jay Wright <laughs> wasn't it's on so It is Saturday night. Ross has, been, Ross has been hard at the bottle, it seems like. I'm kidding. So, I'm, kidding. So Jay no, I'm Wright, good, man. I, I, I'm, I'm kidding. high. Hey, look. High? I'm high on this Taco Bell right yeah. now. Dumb. So Connor, Connor, All right, let's let Ty finish his statement. I'm actually happy right now. Is, Connor, go so, ahead. Yeah. Jay Wright wasn't on any of the like TNT, TBS stuff today, this afternoon. That's interesting. Before yeah, this Because he, he was like a this happened. to Josh Hurd, and he's probably <laughs> hearing about it. I, <laughs> that's, pro- that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> No, so, no. Hey, listen. Jay Wright was on there when they announced Dusty May to Michigan on CBS, TBS, all those. I know, but he wasn't. Oh, no. But he wasn't there this afternoon. Like, well, probably because Josh was calling him saying, "Hey, man, what do I do out. now? What do I do now? I, 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 I mean, can you put Eric back up? Can you put Eric back up, Muscleman? Yeah. Eric, uh. why am I crazy? Why am I? Why am I crazy? Tell me why. Tell me why." Louisville is a better job at basketball right now than Michigan. Why? The Big Ten just sent nine teams. There's to the no tournament. reason you can legitimately give me other than past historical success, which that's great and all. But what does that mean now? That means not shit. In we have a better basketball fan base, but that might be about it. Here's what I mean, I'm scared about, guys. And, and Pat, I'll throw it to you when I get done making this comment because I know you want to say something, jump in here. Um, we just saw that the, the Big Ten and the SEC are going to be splitting 58% of the college football playoff revenue. So these these two conferences schools have a whole lot more money to start throwing around, and that trickles down to their other sports too. Absolutely so does. These other sports yep. are going to be able to pay more for their head coaches, and we just got outbid for a he- basketball head coach. So this yep. is an eye-opening moment. Pat, yep. take it. Yeah, and I mean, that's what I was going to say. I mean, this is, other than a complete failure, this shows the Big Ten and SEC, you know, coaches are probably looking at jobs there and saying, hey, there's a lot more stability in those conferences. There's a lot more money, which means there'll be a lot more NIL in the future, a lot more money to my staff in the future. I mean, it, it, th- this is where we're going, guys. The, the big two are going to own the big two sports, and they're going to own the other sports too. And, you know, which is why we're in such a precarious situation right now. We don't have a coach. We haven't been good in five to seven years. And, and, and we're oh, seven. in this time in college sports where two conferences – are absolutely crushing the other conferences. We are in a bad spot. And to Ty's point, when you look at all that, I, I just we're not as attractive as a job as I wish <laughs> you were. Shit, my bad. I couldn't hit mute. My bad. <laughs> and 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 Pat, I, I'm sorry if I'm cutting you off, but Neil, it doesn't. I understand what you're saying, and I agree that May isn't the alpha we thought he was. But that doesn't matter. My point is, Michigan today in 2024 is more attractive than Louisville. And the Louisville basketball job clearly does not hold the same respect that it once did. Otherwise, you're not going to get told no twice. Twice. It doesn't matter. But it's not the I, same I, it's, anymore. It's pre- I know we're not. on the same page. I know we're on the same page, Ty, but Drew saying no is different from. Dusty May saying no. It's not the same thing. Correct. But if you're going to go hard after Drew, you better sure as hell make sure that if you're going to go after the king, you better not miss. Hey, so we better not miss the second pitch. Yeah. So there's a guy on Twitter, or it's it's another one of those burner accounts. Yep. It's called it's called the coaching portal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's followed by 
armchair, samurai hoops, trilly. All those guys. A bunch of coaches. A bunch of legit accounts. Okay. Yes. And he said today that it was a done deal, that we were getting Dusty May. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he he It's clearly obvious it was. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. He quoted his tweet from five days ago with a green check mark today. And then he just quoted his tweet from seven hours ago with the green check mark that said, was told from very strong sources that May was taking the Louisville job through some back channels and had to change a heart. Expect Louisville to make a power move in the next 48 hours. Hashtag power Wade. Move sounds yeah, we're making a power Hashtag move Wade. for Pat fucking Kelsey, boys. Hashtag power Wade. Move. Let's go. Pat oh, Wade. Have so Wade. Here's the thing. Shit here's sucks, the thing. Are dude. we... Wait, are did we you put ha- hashtag Wade? Yes. It, hashtag Whoa. Wade. Ooh. That, that's a part Ooh. everybody's missing. I don't think Yeah, we'll you all wouldn't shut the hell up and let me finish. I was listening. No, are we, are we a power top or are we a power bottom? Oh <laughs> if I'll, I, be, I'll be thrilled <laughs> and my and my emotions will be completely 180 if it's Wade, but I'm telling you right now, I, I don't feel good about that I'm, at all. I don't I'll, feel good. About, be, hey, I felt great about May. And I, I can't wait. I, I so want one of you to explain to me what you've seen from Josh Hurd to this point in his tenure that you make that makes you confident he can pull a move like that off or is yeah. going to well, do that. He can I, think it's, I think it's be? been there. I, 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 I've already said this, but I feel like the move's been there all along. But Josh Hurd was was in a position where he was uh, – benefited the the ability to not take a risky hire now he just got beat out and he got played nationally whether that was may's intention or not and michigan's intention or not i I don't really don't think it was that Mm -hmm. um but he's now desperate he he is in a very desperate spot not just because he now is starting over like we all said like pat said but He's now in a position like, oh shit, like I got played. Like, this isn't just on U of L. This is on me now. Like, I'm looking really bad. So I better, it, he has to lower some of his standards to go make still a very good hire. He's going to have to be less risk adverse to, to, to make this right. Yeah, I'll be he has to. Hire Pat he has Pace to. Will Wade. Yeah. I, I'll be I mean, I, that'll listen, be that'll be a true lowering of the standards. Yeah. If, if we I'm, hire Will Wade, I'll, I'll be happier than oh, I'll be hire, way happier. Way but, happier. But, but I would I would not my, my confidence right now in, in the athletic department that that if we hired Wade, it, it would not change because the, we basically went to Wade because we couldn't get it done with the, mm-hmm. the people we wanted to, even though I would prefer to have Will Wade in the first place. Yeah. I, my, my confidence in, you, in Josh. You're not wrong. Pat, I, I agree, you, Pat. I'll I agree you there you with you. Address that. I'll tell you how you address that. I mean, and I don't think it's even, uh, it's a hypothetical that it's probably not going to happen. It just makes me mad. That's a hypothetical. But hypothetically, if he Ooh, goes back deal, to Will Wade good. and he says, look, I would have hired you from the start. But you obviously have a past. We have a past. It's a huge yeah. risk, man. And I need to know I can trust you. And, yes, I took a swing at some guys, not because I thought they were better coaches than you, but because I thought they were good enough coaches with less risk. That didn't happen. So here we are. Do you, yep. You take two, this wrong, job. two wrongs don't make it right, but let's try to make it right. No, but it's Dude, more like, his, it's more what like, is his buyout? Like, what is his buyout like, there? Like eight hundred thousand dollars. But I'm just million. saying, like the, the reason Josh Hurd could give could be it has nothing to do with thinking you're a worse coach than Dusty May. Like that's the sales pitch. It's like yeah. it has nothing to do with that, man. And everything to do with the fact that your fire or your gasoline were fire, and if they're mixed in the wrong way, well, if they're mixed at all in real life, yeah. you know what I mean. If Louisville and Will Wade have a sanction, it's gonna be bad. Heard you know what? Heard needs I'm, to have a real take that chance right now. Yeah, her needs to have a talk with Wade, and they need to get on the same page. Can I trust you? And you better be on that phone right now. And I'm telling you right now, all this Mus stuff. Like I'm reading the comments. Mus has tried to get every job he can get. He's Musk still yeah, he's looking there. for a life raft right now. Still at Arkansas, and that's what the does thing. That tell you. Do you remember what does we, that? Tell we were literally sitting here and screwed up. 
we were there were we were there were some of us on this pod that were sitting here saying why would must leave why would must leave arkansas when they've got that bentonville walmart money like that's a way better job than louisville right now it's clearly he needs not to reset the clock that's why he wants out of there yeah it's, i don't, it's, I don't it's, even he's gonna get fired before i don't even agree with that ross i don't like he needs to reset the clock that's why he, he wants out exactly he wants to reset the clock it has nothing to do with like arkansas not being a bad job okay here's another thing the it was also reported that may was like holding an offer from vanderbilt and people are like Vanderbilt and Louisville. They're SEC. They're SEC. Vandy's we a hard place with, to win, too. It is a hard yeah. place to win. It's but like Northwestern in the Big Ten. That should tell you where we stand now. That Ross, Louisville is not the same. It's not considered the same as what it would have been a few years ago. It's just not. Then, if Vanderbilt then, is getting the same exact attention from some of the top coaching names it's not it's just not well and and to ty's point seven years ago after you know all our all our stuff if dusty may or someone like dusty may was offered by louisville and michigan even with the quote-unquote black cloud Mm -hmm. who's who's he picking in my opinion louisville every time but seven years ago that's what I'm saying. And, mm-hmm. and and that just furthers your point. And, and it's not all about Louisville itself. It's about this conference alignment. That's a huge part of it. Yeah. And, and it's all. And then to the Louisville point, it's about we we haven't been to the tournament in forever. And we're, we're coming off two horrible seasons. Years. I mean, th- this is why Kenny Payne was an utter disaster. I agree it's with because you. This is what we're looking at now, man. Yep. GT and I, listen, and- I've talked a lot, but I, this is the last thing I want to say, I promise. Um, no, don't be like that, Ty. Um, I, I, love, I love Louisville, right? I love Louisville sports as much as everybody here and in the chat. Like, the, our fans are great. I, I, I love it. We got to take our red tinted glasses off here, guys. I'm sorry. I agree. This, with you, this is this is not. Oh, it's this just not the look, same. Man. It's not the same. And Pat made the point. I think Pat Pat does a great job of like making points that I want to make. Seven years ago, if this was the case, in my opinion, it's Louisville every single time. Seven years of damage and the shit that we've been through, and then you also consider what the Big Ten is making moves and shit like that. It's not the same. I'm sorry, Ash. Go ahead. No, I was just going to point out that GT and Paul Paul fam said thanks, Rick Patino. First of all, we should have never fired Rick Patino. Mm-hmm. That's really all I had to say about that. Uh, yeah, we got we got witch hunted by the people in Frankfurt and Lexington, and they used political power and a stupid ass governor to illegally <sighs> illegally axe our board of trustees illegally and almost right. cost yeah. the school its accreditation. Out. No, almost I'm, cost I mean, the school its accreditation, even, I don't and they board. put all their people on the board of trustees, all of them. I don't think it's a tinfoil hat at all, but it's just so pointless that we're still having to talk about this because we stink right now. That's the problem. You hope years later after that you can finally move on from it to where it doesn't even come up anymore. As other, they set like, us oh, back a decade at least with their plan. But, but the, 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 man, the, here we I are, mean, here we are turned point. down from Michigan. Yeah, to I mean, that board that Nevin put on had almost no Louisville grads. That, to me, was a problem. Yeah, I, it, it was a problem. But to Kyle's point, that was that was seven, eight years ago. We should even be If you have competent people running your athletic department, then you should be past that by now. No, because do you realize how long it took to get all the yes men out of – the top leadership that trickled all the way down. They had yes men in every level of our institution. They had it exactly how they wanted it. They had everything how they wanted it, and they demolished, torpedoed our school from an athletic standpoint and set us back a decade. That it, you can look, we watched it. We watched it happen right in front of our eyes. It takes a long time to dig out of that. It. I'm, I'm, I know it's, 
people want to look at it as like a tinfoil hat. It's not. And I, I'm sorry, some of y'all don't want to go down this road, but we watched it happen right in I front of our eyes. It Who happened. Our next coach is going to be. I'm just furious. We're all mad. <laughs> I just wonder who our next coach is going to be. I don't have, I mean, I kind of get where Ross is coming from with Dusty spotlight being too big. This could be a positive opportunity, but I have a feeling it's going to be a lower higher than Dusty. I don't think we're going to go after yeah. Bill Wade. I just have Talk a feeling, I just have a feeling a we're going to go after some mediocre whatever. Yeah. And it's I'm I'm Saturday. with I'm with other people on here. Uh, of the people that I think will go after, you, Holloway's got to be it, man. He's got he's got to if he would leave Seton Hall, that's the guy you go for. Now he he would probably at the beginning of this search be down in the bottom part of my top ten, you know. But at this point, you know, <clears throat> that's where we're at. So. Him yeah, Ross, over, what do you know about basketball? <laughs> him over yeah. Pat Kelsey. I mean, I can see people how to drone, set down screens. Drone, drone, drone tang because of something in his past. We don't know what. It's the same old thing. If you jaywalk, if you cross a light that was turning red in the middle of an intersection, you're not able to be our coach. If you got a demerit in the sixth grade because you made a fart noise yeah. in, the, in the class lab. Whatever drone tank, you up. someone needs to tell Kate. Can't, can't, can't get I mean, the sorry, job. If you, ever told a white lie, if you ever told a woman she looked good in that dress, but you didn't think she looked good, and we find out about it, our administration, they're not getting the job. I yeah, like I mean, and that's the thing. I, I want to bring into perspective, too, like we're all talking about, right? Ty, you're sitting here. I, like, I'm not saying that you're a, a, a prisoner of the moment. I think that mm -hmm. your emotions are very well uh, justified. And I think a lot of people in the chat here are sharing this. Like, I, I'm not, you're not alone. Like, I I'm, I share okay. some of that with you. I if have. we really do feel like, if you really do feel like going forward from this point, that Louisville's prestige and tradition and how important basketball is here doesn't outweigh the conference affiliation, the TV money, all of that, then you're already behind the eight ball as a program anyways, right? So you're mm -hmm. going to have to take more risk. The, the job aside, like the the actual semantics and all the, the optics of the job, you're already, if that is true, you're already behind the eight ball because – you you're not going to be able to sell the things that they already have a higher they, they're already on a higher playing field than you are when yeah. it comes to getting a coach yeah. anyways so you're going to have to take risk you're going mm -hmm. to have to you're going to have to be more risky in a in a it, you're going to have to be more boomer bust in the in the coaches that you go and get yeah. you have to right if that is the case then you got to do that so what are, what are we talking here I, so I, one way, one way I know, like, so one way we're saying, okay, Louisville is a lesser job now at this point. Will Wade's the answer. On the other side, you're saying, no, Louisville's still a better job. Okay. And it was just one man's opinion why he wanted to go Michigan. Will Wade's still the job. Like, Will Wade's still the person. Where are we talking right. here? So, so I have the Eric Crawford tweet pulled up. Um, he said, I would expect after tonight's turn of events that Louisville would return to square one and take a fresh look at the entire field of potential candidates, then begin again. I'm not being told that by anyone at U of L, but it just seems to be the course to Aaron take. Crawford's just guessing. Yeah. I, no, I think what he's saying there is that nobody's off the playing table there. At that's, that point. that's how I read it. Yeah. I hope like, so. Yeah. Like we're going to have to reevaluate our our course of action. Nobody's off the playing table now. You got to start over, which is exactly what we've all been. I, I, I have. You have. You, you have no choice. You have no the, choice now. You, you have no choice. The red flags. It didn't work. Hire Will Wade. Look, yeah. I, I actually, I, I'm uh, not going to lie. I got a little bit annoyed. I've been a big Will Wade proponent, but I felt like when the search was clearly not going towards Will Wade that some people kind of push too hard online. I don't, I'm not saying they shouldn't have, it's their right to do that, but it kind of was like Mick is the pickish. Like, I'm just like, you know, at some point you're working against your athletic department and it's for nothing. But now with the situation is dire, 
the entire yeah. fan base. That's as, unless you just don't believe in Will Wade. That's your choice. But if you believe in Will Wade, you this the guy can clearly you coach. had your chance. You had your right. chance to get somebody that was good. That wasn't that that might, may or may not have been as good of a coach as Will Wade, but you could at least make the argument. I'm not seeing it right now. I'm not seeing anybody left we can realistically get where you can make that argument. So now, now the pressure is on. And, and Will Wade's think, way less of a risk than Chris Beard. And I Wade. do think we need to get – Chris Beard just signed an extension, if so that agree, doesn't matter. If you don't agree with Will Wade, that's fine. But if you were pushing for Will Wade before, I, I say push on now. I, yeah, push on because it's wide open. The race and is I, wide open. I, the weight I need to, just got stronger. I need to say this, and Ross, I, I like, I wholeheartedly agree with your logic behind that, and and you're right. I have zero confidence in yeah. Josh Hurd anymore. Zero. I have zero confidence in him, and I don't believe for a second, unless he does change his his mind, like you just said. I have zero confidence in him mm-hmm. to get this done. And I'm fully expecting, in my opinion, I, I hope to God I'm wrong. I hope I am. I'm fully expecting us to roll out Pat Kelsey in a week and a half, and he's going to try to sell it to everybody. Like, oh, man, look at the hire we just made, or Kyle Smith, or some stupid shit. Uh, yeah, I don't want to hear, hear none of that time. bullshit. Oh, I oh had... I'm going gonna, I'm to I'm ride it out. I, I will let it be heard how stupid that is. So I have if we Kyle go that route. Smith, Damn, I have let it be heard. And Kyle Smith isn't happening. He's getting an extension at Washington State. His wife loves it on the Palouse. They're not leaving. And if he does leave, he's going to Stanford. But his wife loves it up there. If the wife ain't happy, you ain't happy. So they ain't leaving. <laughs> Eric, I see your comment and I appreciate you, bro. Um, I we'll see. We'll see. I just I think today. I think if every if we take a step back and really look at this program as a whole and Louisville, even Louisville Athletics, you could really make that point too. But really the basketball program, the, we are not the same. I, we're I, just not the same I, anymore. I will I will say I'm gonna go back to what Kyle said. Listen, we just bought as a fan base eight hundred dollars worth of Oakland. $8,000. $8,000 worth of Oakland merchandise. <laughs> our, our, our fan base is passionate. Yeah. We are a big fan base, and, and it's time to be heard. Yeah. So I, I'm like, Kyle, get out there and, and support who you want to be our next coach because at some point, the athletic department, the school is going to have to listen to the fans because yep. they have screwed the pooch on this. And if they want, if they want people to come back to the yum next year, it's time to listen to us. It is yep. time to listen to the fans. Yeah, and and I'll take it one step further. That's a that's a really good segue. That's kind of where I was going, uh, Pat. Is that for those of you, any of y'all that have any loose connections, straight connections to very prominent boosters. If you have some sort of an acquaintance, throw this video at them. Throw, get, let them hear the fan base's opinions. Let them read through these comments, through the chat, and see what's going on. We are tired and tired of not being heard I understand why you chose the road that you did, but it's time for the rubber to meet the road now. Go get the right person that wants to be here, that is the best coach. All risk aside, we we have the cards that were dealt at this point. Pass this video on. If you've got if you've got connections and networking to prominent boosters, let them hear the opinions of the people. Because tired of staying quiet. I'm tired of staying quiet. Dusty May was not going to be a good hire. I'm sorry. I, I, just, I fully believe that in my heart. And I think I think Michigan's going to be dreading that hire in five years from now. It's going to be a very meh hire. It's not going to do anything for them. They're going to lose a lot of high-scoring games. The defense is going to suck. And it's going to be frustrating. We have the chances. The there's... 
Yeah, I, th- go get our go get our damn guy right now. He's got a million dollar buyout. He's already proven. He gives the middle finger to the NCAA. Fuck that, dude. Go get him. Like, go get our guy. I'm right, tired. Um, of that. I'm tired of trying to do this the right way and us getting bent over all the time. I'm so sick and tired of it. There is no, there is no love for the people that try to do things the right way. We learned that seven years ago. Okay. What we about tried to do it the right way? What about we tried to. I'd like, I'd like to, I'd like to acknowledge. Uh, first of all, thanks, Desmond. I saw your super chat had it up on the screen for a little bit. Aaron, thank you for your super chat here as well. Uh, everybody that's been watching, appreciate you tonight. Hit that like button uh, on the episode and follow us. But Aaron brings up a point that he wanted to address and get our take on, and um, because he did uh, contribute here, I wanted to interrupt and make sure we addressed it right away. Um, one, what's everybody's thoughts on Jamie Dixon oh. at TCU? No. And two, should we have fired uh, Kenny in December? Um, segueing off that question. Yes. The yes. Process I don't think it yeah. matters. I don't think it uh, matters. Josh Heard, Josh Heard was looking and, and in the process of this stuff in December, whether we fired KP there or not. That's that's probably true. firing him. That's probably true. Made it made a difference. He started looking should at we have fired him? Wesley. Sure. But it didn't make a difference in this country. You're not gonna hire somebody mid season, so <laughs> I, I, I the whole Jamie Dixon thing, like, I appreciate the donation, man. No, I can't do it. They they just can't, they don't do anything in tournament, and he's getting older now. Uh, he he looks like he's age 15 years. Here's a name, here's a name, and it's, it's one of, I've actually, hold on a second, Callie. It's one I've had on my radar as like a background coach, but now he's making a run, and it's, it's Danny Sprinkle. Sprinkle. Danny Sprinkle's going to Washington. He's going to Washington. Like, that's already done. (laughs) And flashy. Well, yeah, they was done to Louisville. So. Wade Brigade, he's there. He's right there. He's just there. He's just right there. It's like you're shooting your shot at all the women in the bar. They're like chain smokers with mouse traps on your neck. Yeah, you got the ten out of ten over here, and they nobody can't take your eyes yet. off you. Nobody's Daniel her Parker up. She can't take her eyes off of you, man. It was still a foul though. It was. Hey, we'll always have thirteen boys. You got the. You're lusting after women that have mouse traps on their necks, chain smokers, hairy backs. And meanwhile, you've got the the woman like just checking you out in the corner, and he won't give her the light of day because she got a demerit in the sixth grade. Jeff Goodman yeah. just dropped his uh, targets to watch, but it's a video from Field of Sixty Eight, so I don't know if we can play that or not. No. Uh, just have you watched it? I haven't. It's it's his live. Watch it in the so. back. Watch it in the back. Or well, go on. Uh, you can give us the synopsis. I can't give wait. Us, I can't wait to hear these to comments again. from Jeff Goodman since he already said we were going after shirts and Pat Kelsey anyway. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, this. Really list, I'm sure this list is about to be fucking fire. It's gonna be <laughs> sick. <laughs> Have you heard of Darvin Ham? <laughs> I is gonna hear this list and be like, like huh? What about this Biden <laughs> guy? This James Madison guy. You know what Ross was saying about uh, about uh, um, Dusty May. Like, I don't want you for Louisville basketball ball. <laughs> hey. hey, yeah, you're out of here. Cut it out. <laughs> you guys, check the, check the group chat in the main. And see what I just posted the Photoshop. It's good, Connor. You're gonna love it. <laughs> Con- Connor's muted, but yes, he he would love that. Well, he's muted, but he can probably hear me. That's funny. Um, yeah. Let's hey, see. put Neil's comment up there, Ash. <clears throat> For, uh, that's about that's about Wade's only negative. Well, I don't I believe. Don't believe are they really friends? Hey, oh, hey, hey, hey. First friend. name they dropped was Chris Beard. Who? He just signed an extension. Oh. First name they dropped was Chris Dude, that Beard. That has happened before, that? though. Like, Field of 68. They're not. They're Will, Chris Beard is way more risky than Will Wade. Yeah. Way right. more. Thing, thing, too, Beard, Jeff though. Goodman's the one that said we needed to go after Scott Drew. And as soon Goodman's as we did, not even on stay. this video. He walks away. He's not even on the video. Oh, well. 
That's who fine. is it? Who is it from Field of 68 that says I think that? It's Douster, I think, and another bald guy, and it's not Chris Mack. <laughs> another bald guy. <laughs> another bald guy. Is this right. serious? You're what? nuts. But no way. I will. I mean, we're gonna I will get to listen. the point soon. We're gonna get to the point soon where Chris Mack's on the list, man. I will. Uh, I will continue listening. Return of the Mac. There it is. <laughs> I think we're gonna have a new. Uh, I'm gonna tell you oh right my now. God! Drew Dinger's got a Kevin Keith profile picture as on no, his Twitter. No, please, no, God! God please. He almost got fired at NC State. How many times now? Like, come on! No, no, <laughs> I like Kevin Keith. Too. I like him. He, he seems like a nice guy, but no. The, my the wife second, was just saying tonight that she he seemed like such a nice man. She'd be so happy. The second <laughs> name they dropped was Will Wade. I don't well, need to listen to anymore. So, the second so name beard, they dropped the So they're up. basically saying, Louisville, you're up. It's Beard or Will Wade. Shit, get off the pot. That's what they yes. basically just yes. said. Yeah. Okay. But that's what we're no. saying here. So we're not we're not crazy. We're not There's crazy. Not, and it's no, left in the video, and I don't need to listen to the Good end. luck because I don't have I have zero confidence in Josh Hurd to do that. So I am kind of there with you, Ty. But if right now Josh Hurd is pissed off and is looking at, around the room saying, "Hold my beer, Michigan," desperation's a strong I'm drug. Be fine with it in the end. So if he, yeah. if he, if he does, I will I will eat my words on this show and give him all the props <laughs> and all of it if he does. But I have Kyle, I just saw your picture. That shit's hilarious. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to tell you about it. Yeah, and, and I'm with Jason too. Uh, I'm with Jason there, like. Wade is a way less risky hire, and it's a lot easier to sell Wade than Beard. Like, listen, I've been on the record with with the Beard thing. Like, it, there was obviously something that happened in that house. And here's the thing. When it comes to domestic de- abuse, like, even if the woman wanted to drop the charges, the state can still go after Chris Beard. It's and and file those charges, it's and they dropped hard. the they dropped the charges. Now we could say that there was some sort of cover up there or not. We don't know, but it looked like from that point on, Texas wasn't going to keep Beard at that point, anyways, because it was too big of a black eye for them to hang on to him. So why the hell would they protect him? They wouldn't. They wouldn't do that. So, it, it to me, even that being said. Beard is a really risky hire from that standpoint, and that's a that's a horrible look. Uh, I think when you're trying to sell fans on a person, the person, not the coach, the person for this job, which is a we've been talking about this tonight. This there's there's more to this job than just being a coach and running the program. It's about the person being able to embrace this job, handle all the expectations all the pressure, take all the critical, uh, you know, advice, the the harsh comments, all of it, do the things out in the community. It's going to be harder for somebody like Chris Beard for the community to embrace somebody with a potential background like that than Will Wade. Uh, Neil, I, I, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. If I had anything, to, I would love to come on here tonight and talk positive basketball shit, but – Basketball has been anything but positive for the last however many years, and uh, tonight's just another long. It's just another night in that long list of negativity. It's, it's, it's At least like, you have the Jets are, to look forward to. It's that's what it's like. Yeah, thanks, it's like we are Connor. the Jets. It's like we are. Like I wouldn't even say like people worried about us becoming Indiana. I feel like it's worse than that. Like the yeah, luck we've had is. last seven It's officially years. worse. It's like we are in Indiana. New York Jets. New York Knicks for a long time. Too. Okay, relax with the Jets, right? Like the relax. Knicks finally got back. The, Knicks. <laughs> the Lions <laughs> finally got back. It's we like, are it's in like that we're the thirty-year drought where we're just cursed, man. We're just hey, cursed. Ash, put put Brandon's comment up there. It was uh, it was up a few minutes ago. Yeah, he accepted the job and got cold feet. We dodged a bullet. So he get, so, yeah. so instead he dodged goes to a Big bullet. Ten school. I agree. If the guy doesn't want to be here, I'm glad he's not here. But yeah, the problem sure, is before before you offer him a contract, you need to make sure he wants to be here so that you avoid situations like that. So yeah, yeah but you no, could no, say I mean, 
the end result here, if he didn't want to be here, it's good that he did not accept the job. My problem is we had it out there in, in media circles. Now, none of the big national guys were like, hey, he's definitely coming to Louisville, but they said Louisville's going after him. And 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 we screwed the pooch. Man, we we completely embarrassed ourselves, man. And, and again, glad he's not here if he doesn't want to be here. But that does not change the fact that this whole thing was utterly embarrassing, man. Well, so here's the thing. Could you have the potential of being a coach, whoever the coach is, could you have the potential of getting cold feet if you actually haven't been given the job yet? Here's my here's my concern. So, like, it. you don't know if the coach is going to do that or not. I had suspicions that I felt like he would buckle uh, down the road. But, like, still, like, you, if he's never offered the job, then you don't – he doesn't even know if he's going to get cold feet or not or have, in, or have second guesses. He doesn't even know that because it has to get to that point first. So well, here's my problem. I see what you're saying, but like it's still like he, here, you know. here's my issue, guys. Josh Hurd, like he, no matter what happened, like yeah, maybe we dodged a bullet with the cold feet thing, but he thought he had this guy in the bag, which tells me that he may have not read the situation exactly as well as he should have exactly. leading yep. up to this moment. He said he yeah. wanted somebody that could crawl that would crawl here. Bob and they thought they had – now, I mean, is it possible <laughs> that Dusty May went, like, ball so yeah, well for this Mom. job? And then – hold on, I got my daughter for anybody that listens yeah, to um, don't, don't apologize. <laughs> but anyway, I um, it's possible that Dusty just sold that he really wanted this job. And, and I have a hard time believing there weren't signs there that this might not come to fruition. And it just all happened at once. Yeah. It so seems like we misread the situation. Exactly. And Kyle, you just you hit the nail on the head. Josh said, I want someone who's going to crawl here. And he put all of his eggs into Dusty's basket and look where it happened. He put his and, eggs and, in and the we, two baskets and, and look and, what and happened. And at this point, right, Connor, right. And at this point, how could anybody sit here and tell me they have any confidence in him to get this done and do what we all feel is the right way? to go get someone like Will Wade or Chris Beard and just drop the whole past history bullshit and go there, do the there's right a thing. Will, there's a Wade. What? Explain yeah. to me. Will Somebody please explain to me how you hear, have any confidence in Josh Heard to go do that. I have none. Don't, none. The only confidence I have, and it kind of goes back to what Ross said, is desperation has entered the field. It's a powerful yeah. drug, man. And, 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 I hope, and, I pray and desperation I hope. can cause horrible things. Yes. Or, or great it can things. cause good things. Yeah. We got to hope it causes something good. I mean, again, I, I brought it up earlier. That exact thing happened for Mitch Barnhart at UK in 2010. He did not want to hire Calipari ever. Didn't like him. Really didn't want to do it. And his pick. The right pick in his mind, Gillespie, flamed out and was a horrible. I won't even say it was a horrible hire compared to what we've seen now. It's because it's not, but it wasn't the right hire, and he kept getting in trouble off the court. And so all the spotlight was on Barnhart. This guy can't make good hires, so he was desperate, and he said, "Okay, I have this guy right here. He wants to come here. I'm gonna have to pull the trigger. We hope it works out." And it did. It worked out for UK. Like it worked out for them. They hired Cal. They hate him now. They're they're doing shots and want him fired and God knows what else. But like at the time, it was the right hire. It was absolutely the right hire. He was desperate. He pulled the trigger. It worked out for him. Josh Heard, you're desperate. Pull the trigger. Make the move, bro. It's not hard. Yeah, this, it's not hard. Do you think Auburn regrets hiring Bruce Pearl? Do you no, think Kentucky no. at the beginning? No. I think Kentucky regrets the lifetime contract, what? but do you think they regret the good years on her? Hell no. no. Yeah, yeah. the think, lifetime contract is stupid, but the hire was the right move. Right, do you think right. that Houston oh, is hiring Kelvin Sampson? <laughs> no. Callie no. doesn't either, apparently. Don't yell at the mic, sweetie. Yeah, I mean, Cal's <laughs> first 10 years at Kentucky were some Great. of the – 
best ten. That was one of the best decades in college basketball. Yeah, one hundred percent. They were number one every year. Like they were the by far the best team in the country every year. Yep. And I don't then, want Bruce Pearl. I don't think he's the guy, but Bruce he Pearl would. I do. I do think Bruce said that Auburn doesn't regret bringing him there. I I, I, I I do think that Bruce Pearl would thrive here, though. I do think that. I just. I just think, I think you're always going to get a lot of the world. same stuff with Bruce Pearl, but it would be fun. It would be fun. He's it would be crazy It'd be fun, fun until we lost to Yale in the first round. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Charles Burke is like, I got to give it up for those Yale uh, Harvard oh, grads. Uh, <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> that's good, man. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> He's like, that's a not, that's a, that's uh, uh, Kenny, uh, I got to give it up to Yale. They they just uh, they outplayed us. They out hustled us, and uh, they just beat us. And uh, got nothing else to really say about that. We, that we, was we, great. We have fallen off the wagon on the third banner pod. I mean, people who aren't watching are going to think Chuck is really on the podcast, man. <laughs> you. All you crazy bunch of knuckleheads. Did you I see don't know, Nate. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Kenny. Yeah, let's. I don't know, guys. I'm probably gonna. Y'all can keep going. I'm gonna. I'm gonna head out, man. I got. I mean, I, I think here. we all said what we had to say. I think I, this is obviously people wanted to. People wanted to chime in. I mean, how how many people are here right now watching? Thirteen hundred. Oh, I love people. when people like Ernest. Thirteen hundred people are here. Thirteen hundred people. Are people with personal lives who follow a fan, but like a program. Like, don't define yourself with your program. I'm guessing. You're oh yeah, see, my got. Hey, I gotta call terrible. this Michigan fan out, out real UK quick. Fans. Ernie, that's terrible. Like, I gotta no call this. Fan. Wait a minute, pause. I gotta call this Michigan fan out. He's bragging about four Sweet Sixteen. <laughs> I mean, I would. I mean, I realize we're that's in that's route. That, that Everyone is what we expect as a bare minimum here at Louisville. Week. We expect to make the, the, the second weekend every year. That is the bare minimum for this job. Sweet bare minimum. Teen brag. <laughs> How many national championships? Like, like what does it matter, though, guys? What does it matter? They they are the better job now. And that's just the fact. I'm not going to go that far yet. Yeah, I mean, I'm all think you are that, in the that, top of the program. It's stupid. It's U of L two forty eight program. We're just put that up there. That's my buddy Chris. U of L two forty eight. That's Chris. Brad, I hear you that they just won eight games, but again, I, so like, did we. Not... that is the problem. It doesn't have to be. Listen, we just got to call it as it is. Our, our 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 athletic department has not been right since Jurich was witch hunted out of here. Okay, and we got into that earlier. We don't have to get back into it. And it doesn't have to be Jurich again. I would love it. Me personally, I would love it. I but I'm not going down that road. It doesn't have to be. It does not have to be Tom Jurich. But what we do need is somebody like the James Madison athletic director. Look what they're doing down there in football and basketball. You need a guy like that here. You need a guy like that here. And and up. Connor, Ash, you all know what, what's Herd's background? Facilities. I'm not going into that. But, Andrew, I also Oh have to yeah, say yeah. Like shit. Connor, what's his background? Facilities. And is that pretty rare for somebody on that side to get I'm, an AD I'm job? Not touching this not, conversation yeah, on the yeah, pod. Let's uh Okay. Um, Andrew, I mean, it's like you bragging about the Sweet Sixteens, that'd be like us saying, "Yeah, man, we've made more Liberty Bowl appearances." Did, did y'all see what <laughs> man, like, who Diener? We in the profile? Liberty Bowl. Jesus Christ. Did y'all see what Diener changed his profile picture to? Liberty we Bowl. Yeah, about we've that. already been Kevin over Keats. Kevin Keats. Sorry, I when I was listening to the Field of Sixty Eight video, I had to mute you all so I could hear it. Oh, okay. Out. We've already we've already thrown up live on stream about that, so don't worry. I, Ty, if I don't drink anymore, but if I did, I'd be drinking with you right now, bro. I, dude, <laughs> there's not enough Blantons to go around for tonight. Tanny was uh, quiet here, but man, if I did, man. I would be getting hammered with you. I'd pick you. We go to the biggest hole in the wall bar. It'd be a junky one too, buddy. It wouldn't mm -hmm. be a good one. Mm -hmm. He's find the worst <laughs> bar possible. Rustic Frog, baby. With nothing oh, but like, cigarette smoke. We've taken a turn, women. 
The rustic frog. <laughs> Louisville basketball is kind of like the rustic frog of college well, basketball see, now. Too, right? oh, we got come on now. No, nah, we now. get better right. money than it's that. It's too far, Ty. Too far. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm sorry. That is a little too far. I apologize. I'll take that back. But, guys. What a, they still what got a rough that one night. girl with the wooden leg that works there? <laughs> That's actually Whoa. our next coach. That's our next coach, Ross. <laughs> you joke and laugh, we, but we know. I want to know. We, I want to know what our hey, three zone looks like. Our, first our, first. Next, our next coach is gonna be like C A R D. We know. Here's a we know where question. Ross goes when he can't show up for the pod on Wednesday. Here's man. a question he's, for the group. He's over there at the Rustic Frog. Yeah, yeah. Listen, 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 listen. Let's reel back in. Here's a question for the group. If Josh or if Will Wade's just not going to be the guy again, which is very possible, unfortunately, who is it? Who do you guys want that we can we realistically take, get? We want to go one by one, just like take a minute. It has to be realistic. I don't want to hear about Brad Stevens. I don't want to hear about Billy Donovan. I don't even want to hear about Bruce Pearl. Eric Spolstra. <laughs> My hot take on Billy Donovan is he was no good without uh, Larry Shiat as an assistant coach teaching defense because his teams were garbage. All right, but seriously, guys, who, who would you pick? All right, let's go the top to the – All right. Start, so you want to start with me or what? Yeah, sure, go, go ahead, Ty. Okay. Um, my short answer would be Jerome Tang. Um, I've, like I said, I've felt strongly about him before I've been on this pod and, and, and said that, um, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you that it's now, it's going to be harder to sell that to fans. And I acknowledge that because Kansas state did not make the tournament. Um, but if Josh, if, if, if Scott drew was always target number one, I feel like getting his main man for the last 20 years, who really had a lot, a huge hand in building Baylor to what it is now. That means something to me. Uh, defensively, I think he's great, and I think his personality and energy. It's going to be tough now. Like uh, fans are pissed, I'm pissed, fans Bad are person. pissed. But his energy is going to be um, crucial in getting the fans bought in, and and I think he can do it. So my my short answer would be Jerome Tang. Um, I guess I'll go oh. next. Oh. Um. If it's not Will Wade, which again I don't think they're going to look at him, so that's my hypothetical. He's not going to be Will Wade, so not having him involved. I guess I'll take Shaheen Holloway, and I know his offensive efficiency numbers haven't been great, but I know what he did at a with. We talk about Dusty May not having anything at FAU. He had like twice as much as Shaheen Holloway had when he made an elite eight and beat really good teams on the way there. It wasn't even. Like he like backed into an elite eight, if you can even do that at a school at a 15 C. And then this year, I hear people saying two NITs, which just makes me mad because you cannot hold this year. I think they should have been honestly where Florida Atlantic was seated. Not maybe not an eight, but I think they should have been a nine or a 10 seed in the tournament. Uh, maybe an eight. I mean, when you really look at their resume, it's it's a blast. It's utter blasphemy that they were left out. I don't think he's a perfect coach yet, but he's also young. The defense would be back. Like what we saw under Rick Patino, that defense is back. And I actually did like his offense at St. Pete, the stuff he ran in a tournament, but that is a low sample size. Yeah. So I guess I would go with Shaheen Holloway. Connor, go up. I'll give you a top four. One, we want one. one. Well, yeah, you got you got to narrow it, bro. Give then us your Will one. Wade. Like, all right. We just that said, we said the No, come on. I, know, I Connor, thought we said. Connor, here's the thing. I, I said if we're not looking at Will Wade. Wade. Connor, you go with timeout. You think about what you just did, <laughs> and then you come back with the name. I actually, I, I actually want Will Wade. Go Here's dash. my thing, uh, the, what I was going to interject on that. I mean, we have multiple media members saying everybody's on the table and they're going back to square one. So I actually don't think it's out of bounds to say Will Wade at this point. Um, so but Connor, give me a reason. Want Will Wade. Or Chris give me reasons. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I thought we had prefaced the, the hype. I thought we had prefaced it by saying that if we're not going to look at Will yeah, Wade or somebody point. like that, right. who would it be? So who do you have somebody, Connor? 
Mm. McDermott <laughs> just signed a fucking extension. He said, hmm. Um, <laughs> honestly, Brad Underwood. All right, guys, I got to bounce. Okay. Callie's going crazy up there. My wife's Fair going enough. Go crazy we'll finish on your, me. We'll finish your conversation. Hey, guys. Why do you want Cal. Underwood, Connor? He's producing. Like, okay. and I, I like what he's done with Terrence Shannon Jr. Okay. Yeah. His guys have to pay Underwood a good amount of money. He's like the 10th highest paid coach in the country, right? Now. I don't know what his buyout is. I have no idea. Um, I mean, I I'm, I'm watching, I'm watching McDermott right now, and they're in a ball game with Oregon, but he just signed an extension too. Uh, McDermott did, yeah. He signed a lifetime contract with Creighton. Wow. It's fine at Creighton. I wouldn't want him. I'm still thinking, Pat. Do you have somebody? I mean, if I had to do a name, it'd be Holloway because he's young, energetic. A lot, a lot of the same reasons Kyle gave. But if I'm going in a different route so we have another name, I'd probably go with Bucky. Bucky um, Ball, hell yes. I think his, his basketball knowledge seems to be on the level of a, of, of a Will Wade. His product is exciting. He's young. Um, so I, he's a name I'd throw out there. And... Um, uh, Oh, sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ty. You're fine. Go ahead. I, I was just going to say, um, like, Bucky, I watched them against Kansas. Style is awesome. But Jesus, man, that jump from Sanford to Louisville is just, it's yeah, unimaginable. I mean, it is from, unimaginable. From City high school basketball, fan. high school basketball to Sanford to Louisville. Like, man. I mean, it's no, it's no different than shirts to Louisville. It's the same thing. Uh, uh, I mean, it's not no different. There's a big difference in D2 and high I'd school. Say, I'd say Indiana State is there, there's a big difference pretty between, high, much higher, but yeah, the, the valley and, and, and yeah. the big south or whatever the hell it is. is the it's, it, it, Ross, it, I agree with you though. It's still it's unimaginable to think of like Buddy yeah. or shirts or Pat Kelsey, Charleston's Indian to Louisville, man. It's just yeah. unconscionable to like unconscionable to think about that. Yeah, I, I, I would I would probably lean towards somebody like uh DeVries or DeVries, however you say it, that's at uh Drake. Okay. Um, but I think maybe even more than him, I would go with the South Florida coach. Um uh they need Raheem. Like over Raheem. On the record or something. Yeah, like, Abdul Rahim. I would go. I would go that route because I. I think what he's been able to do there, he's kept them pretty much ranked inside the top twenty-five for a lot of the year this year. They're very tough defensively, and he seems to get the most out of his players. Um, so it, 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 we all know it, USF is just like really up against it in a lot of different ways. Um, when it comes to their athletic department, um, it's it's just really hard to win there in multiple sports. So I, it, what he's done is not a fluke. Um, so I would I think I would lean his way if it's not like y- y'all already named Holloway or I think I would lean that way. I, and I and I want to make the sorry Connor. I'm sorry, sorry. I just want to make this point. Like it's. <laughs> And I don't want to take away from Abdul Rahim, but like a lot of these names that we're given right now, I'm watching us, I'm watching our reactions on uh, in our face, and we're cringing at every single one. <laughs> I mean, it's the truth. That's that's like I know I sound yeah. so negative tonight, and I hate that. I all I right, want to be all right, positive, Ty, you're so negative all the time. <laughs> shit, man. We've cringed at every name tonight so far. And that's well, just that's my point tonight. That's my point. This sucks. That's that's my thinking face. <laughs> and that's why I am going to absolutely, you know, I haven't, I haven't gone yet. And that's why I'm going to absolutely break the rules because of the way we're feeling right now. The, the fan base is pretty much up in arms about what's going on. Yeah. And you need some kind of rallying cry. Yeah. And over the last, you know, seven or eight years, we have been so pissed off as a fan base. 
and beat up. You've got to be able to sell something and being able to sell that, uh, that swagger that Will Wade has with giving the finger to the NCAA Mm -hmm. and the fact that he's in addition to that is a very good coach. Yeah. Gonzaga just showed up and they're really good. I feel like hyping his rogue nature and taking the black hat could be something that brings the fan base together. Actually, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm breaking the, the rules. Base. My my name is Will Wade, and I have not been a, a Wade Brigade guy until tonight. And and look, I I hate to keep making the comp- comparisons to the school down the road, but the biggest mouthpieces of UK Are absolutely. Dumb dog shitted on Calipari and hated him before he was their coach. And the fan base did not want Calipari. As soon as he was their guy and they started seeing all the positive results coming on the recruiting trail and everything, what happened? It was a rallying cry, just like you said, Ash. It united all of them. They just said, okay, screw it. This is our cheater. This is our guy. Come get us. We're going to take on the world. And they embraced it. And how did it work out for them? It worked out the best way possible. Do the same thing. What are we scared about? Well, it's like we're I, hate it. To your point, Ash, and I think we all want Will Wade. I think we gave different answers because that's, you know, it made who it would we get other than Will Wade. <laughs> but to your point, when you knock down someone like, the NCAA, like we have ourselves, have knocked down Louisville. And you get down to this level that we're at from a feeling standpoint, from a hatred standpoint, you you start to say, and I'm talking about the fans, you're like, who is going to piss people off the most? And, and to your point, that's going to be Will Wade. Not our fans, but who's going to piss off the nation the most if we hire him? Yeah. That's going to be Will Wade, and that's something to galvanize around, man. We are going to be the bad guys. You all have knocked us down. You've told us we're the bad guys for so long. So we're going to be the bad guys now. Yep. We're going to be the bad guys, and we're going to go and wear this dude. Wear the hat. He said, F you. Perception is reality. We might not be the bad guys. Again, we tried to do the right thing. Other schools literally did not cooperate, and we got screwed for it and are still labeled the worst thing to happen during that entire FBI investigation is bullshit. We got labeled what we got labeled, and we didn't even earn it. We didn't even earn it. Like, it wasn't given. That title wasn't given to us fairly. I'm sorry. It wasn't. So if you're going to name, if we're going to be that nationally, then F everybody. F middle fingers to the world. Go get the right guy. Stop being scared. Scared money don't make money. Okay. Do you want like to feed back and you want Louisville? Jerry Everybody knew Tark was a rule breaker. Yeah, it's Fred Mo didn't give a shit. They wanted to make the tournament, and they I did. Think, um, yep. We put Neil. Do we put Neil's comment up there? I also see this in Discord right now. People are talking about it. That Shaheen Holloway. If you believe really. Yeah, if you believe truly, then apparently Shaheen is interviewing tomorrow. So anybody that's on the Holloway train, I could possibly get down for it, but the offense yeah. really scares the shit out of me. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. His offenses his, have his been backup big man is lazy as hell. Hot yeah. ass. I'm I'm just gonna be honest. His <laughs> hey, offense hey. has been hot ass. But he hey. can coach some defense it, though. I'll give him that. His his backup big man is lazy and doesn't want to practice, doesn't want to rub, run up down the court, doesn't want to get in shape, and I know that from personal um, experience. Hmm. Listen, let me ask y'all something. If the Louisville job was made out of barbecue spare ribs, would you eat it? <laughs> what is happening? I, I know I would. I'd can, wash it down Charles with a cold, back, cold Budweiser. What is happening, man? I had such a good day watching the tournament with family, <laughs> celebrate my birthday, and then this shit happens. What the fuck are we doing here tonight? Can we can we bring back uh, Charles Barkley, please? Woo! Yeah, look at the moves right there. <laughs> you know, I think there's one thing we can all agree on, though. Fuck you, Kay. Yeah. <laughs> 
I we hope, always I agree hope there. they fire Calipari and owe him $33 million. <laughs> Jack the Wise put it well. Listen, this is – I don't care what school you are. In this current climate, the way it is right now, you don't want to be hiring a coach. And I know that they want to know get that. rid of their guy down there. But they know but that. But you really don't – UK would be going through similar problems like we are right now. I'm sorry, they would. Like their, their NIL is not good for basketball. No, like it, this is not the climate you want to be hiring a coach right now. It's just there's not. It's a bad time to be hiring a coach. That's just the plain and simple of it. So, I mean, there's just not like huge amounts of runaway candidates. It's just I, not. I think we like in this. Uh, this should be a. Turning point for everybody. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I think our our nil should be a sticking point for any coach that comes here. Yeah, if you it's have well organized, million, if you have four yeah. million dollars to play with, you can put a roster together to get you to the second. Can I put together? Tournament. Can I put a name out there? Thoughts? Oh god! Oh god! Micah Shrewsbury. Hey, he'd be great. Hey. Oh he, he'd be great. Like he would light a fire because he's from he's from Jeffersonville. Nobody yep. cringed. I noticed that there was no cringing. We all kind of were like, oh, uh -huh. well, we, because you saw what he's done with Notre Dame in one year. Their their roster is they not talented. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're not talented. And look how hard they played. And you look at where they started the year and how they ended the year. They were significantly better. They got it's, better. It's hard and the to players bought in and, and carried out what he wanted to do. He's a good coach, man. He it's is hard, a good it's coach. It's hard to recruit I like, there. I too. like Shrews. I'm not going like to lie. I like Shrews. I think I'd rather have him all the way. <laughs> I just figured I saw someone Bring him on I down to Louisville. The float. So you know, one other thing that this kind of scenario can sometimes point out, or prompt as well is your boosters getting pissed off and, and one of them just coming forward and saying, how much money do we need to make something happen? Yep. Yep. So that, that could, and I'm just looking for a silver lining. So I'm just, well, that's what I was trying to get at earlier. Like when I was saying, if you, it, 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 you got a connection somehow, some way to a very prominent booster or boosters. Get them together and get their voices talking together. Get them all talking. I'm sure they already are anyways. Get them talking to one another and just, what do we got to do? Let's get it done. Okay? Make Josh Hurd make the hire. Okay? Because that's where we're at. I'm sorry. That's what, that, that is where it's at. So, if if he screws this up, he's not going to be in this job four years from now. If he wants his job, he better start listening to some people. I I don't even put the Kenny Payne thing on him. That wasn't his fault. It it really wasn't. He was an interim then. So, <clears throat> Tom, oh, Will Tommy Lloyd is not leaving the West yeah, Coast. Yeah, we've and he's sure yeah. as hell not leaving Arizona right now. We've covered that a bunch. Tommy Lloyd is a West Coast guy. He's not leaving Arizona. He wants to go to Gonzaga. Is where he wants to. He's go. going to be Mark Fuse. Head coach in waiting. He just happens to be at Arizona right now. Um, Josh, I actually, I know we've joked about this a lot, but the more I think about it, like I realize he's not, not a, a terrible option. I know, I know he's not had a ton of tournament success, but the tournament You're can be a crapshoot at times. If we but, win, if we win twenty five games a year, I think I could. I, I just could hate. Happy. I just hate how he. I I hate how his. He plays to me. He just everything focuses around a big man still, and I just don't think that's the way. That's you're the college is he winning? The college. Look at look at the tournament right now, man. Look look at what players are dominating the tournament. Shooters, it, it's shooters, but it's big guys too. Look mm -hmm. at the look at the dude for Oakland Townsend. You can get this point was made, I think, on the post game show on CBS. Seth Davis made this point. Unlike the NBA international ball, the, the, the paint in college is smaller, which leads to big men being able to dominate more. So I, I don't mind a guy that runs his offense through, through a, a good big man. And like it can work. You now you're going to, you're going to have to have some good guards too. 
but you need a big man that can pass and can distribute. Like you need it. You need that big man to be a distributor, not the focus of your offense. And that's but, that's my problem with Painter is that he's gone more that way. Like the big man's the focus of his offense. If, if the big man can pass, he he can be the focus of your offense, mm -hmm. and like, he should be. So if you've got a big man. Look at look at NC State and why they're making their run right now. They Josh, got a big man a point. that can pass, man. Hop on yeah. and, and he can dominate in the post. There's nothing wrong with running an offense through a big man in the NCAA. I mean, I'm watching Creighton right now, and, and they're running through Kalkbrenner. Yeah, Kalkbrenner. Like, I do think we've seen a little bit of a resurgence in college basketball of the big man recently. It, and, it seems like more like, teams are actually playing through the post than they're than they were for the previous like like and Oregon plays years. through Dante all the time. But it's can like, I go back to my point about – can go I go back to my point, though, with – like, do you think Purdue – I don't – I think Purdue is probably the better job right now. Like, seriously. They got a shitty arena, though. It's – okay, think about it. We talked about this, I think, a week ago, maybe, or the other – just the other night with Painter. When it was open, when Mac uh, took it, he was really yet? interested – uh, and Purdue on, doesn't Ross, tend on. to pay coaches real well. But, but no. again, hold on, hold on. Back when Mac took it the first time around in 2018, Painter, like we had it on good authority, I think, through a lot of people that Painter really was interested, like really interested. Do you think he is now? Do you think he is now? Well, we're just talking hypothetically, too. Though. Well, I, I know, yeah. I know how it's hypothetical, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't think he would be. Why Why leave what you have? He's got Purdue rolling. They're in the Big Ten. They're going to be making a shit ton of money. And what? why? Why leave? Yeah, I, I don't, don't think I would I go mean, this far. I, I I'm think not going you, that far, but, like, bro. I, we Steve Lutz take, wouldn't take be a terrible hire, off, guys. guys. Take the glasses off. This job is not a top five, ten job anymore. It's Well, not. and there is I'm – I'm just going to say it point blank. There is a fear of a potential Super League. And, and me and you, and ACC and you have, ain't gonna be in it if there is. Me, me yeah. and you have said that, Ash, and I, I've I've been highly scared about it because I think it eventually is going to happen. Every comment that Sankey makes points to mm -hmm. he wants the SEC and Big Ten to break off and form their own damn. Well, group. And now he's even more mad because the SEC lost almost every first round game this year. I mean, if you're an established coach at at one of those two conference schools, are you going to leave for an ACC it, job? Musselman would. <laughs> well, because he's not established right now. Because he's one more bad season, he might be getting fired. I think there's going to be a lot of. Uh, I think there's a lot of potential, like antitrust laws and stuff that might come into play if they do that you know what though every time there's been a, re a reduction in the uh opportunity to have access to championships that has come up as a solution and every single time it's failed when they yeah, formed the bcs it's that never failed. gotten to the point to where you just have one exclusive league and they're hogging all the money and, and like every that. single time people say, Oh, this is gonna be antitrust, and every single time that's struck down. And that's I know, think it's about, just like NCAA division two, like they can still do yeah, their thing exactly and have their tournament and have a champion. That you know, there, there's nothing against that. I, I don't see antitrust, they're yeah, but to form there's a, a lot of their own. There's a there's listen, nothing that, there's no law that can say they can't make their own league. You're going to get to a point, though, where cities and stuff are really going to be losing a lot of money, which is going to affect politicians and their ability to campaign. But those schools don't have an obligation to cities in other states and everything else. They're state institutions that well, matter. They don't have any responsibility to other state institutions. We're so down. I know, bad. but I'm just saying I'm just saying that. We are so down. I still think it's going to be hard to do. That's all I was bringing up. <laughs> anyway, back to coaching talk. We're so down bad that this is the road that we've <laughs> gone down. And and I can't believe that at this point tonight, I'm I'm sitting here about to flip on Stinky Shaka. I can't believe it, dude. Shaka would kill it here. 
I yeah. can't believe it, man. You, I'm you're going to have to overpay. If you want Shaka, you're going to have to overpay because you're going to still call him, Can I still call him stinky? Can I still Not call him stinky? Here. <laughs> Fuck, man. So you would have to overpay to get him. But you, I you would think have to give him it. the same salary that you were going to give Scott Drew. <laughs> that makes uh, me sick. That. that makes not me that. sick. That that far, that what does he? What does he make right? What does he make it, right now? That's a it private school, so I'm not sure we have yeah, that. We're not going to know. Yeah, but it, it, that money would have to be close. It would have to be close. I think he would be matter. making. I think you'd have to pay him what Dusty May's making at Michigan now, like six and a half. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> like, and, and it's a little bit different there. Other than the fact that Shaka is from the area mm -hmm. it, the the baylor situation and the marquette situation booster and money wise it, it is different yeah Ma baylor baylor's got m a lot more money backing them than than i think marquette does I, I i'm speculating but that that's how i i read the situations yeah i mean marquette is a really good school i mean you know, it's, it's hard uh, to, recruit to Wisconsin too. Like, yeah, I mean, but I mean, you know, Chris Farley graduated from there. You know, a lot of people go there for seven years, and you know, a lot of people are <laughs> lawyers from there too. We're we're talking. Oh, I, I feel sick. We're talking myself into Shaka Smart right now. I'm sick. <laughs> Ty, do you need to talk about it? I mean, we play fun style of basketball. Like the style would be fun. Win basketball Holy. games. Holy shit, would it be not fun losing in the round of 32 every year? Let's see what he does. Let's see what him and Painter do. They're, not, they're that lose, not that they're they're going to lose to Colorado up. tomorrow, and then we're going to have uh, DJ Burns and the big man from Colorado going out in the paint on Saturday. NC State to the Final Four. I'm telling y'all. Hey, and just think, we started their run to the Final Four. <laughs> Oh. And what were we up by, like, 15 in that game or something? Hey, <laughs> I know we're kind of in the trolling hours, but Josh Josh makes up another great point. Uh, what if we hire a great coach, and, like, what's the guarantee that he doesn't leave for an SEC or Big Ten job in a few years? There's no guarantee. There's, There's no, no guarantee. You, gotta hire, you hire coaches – because you think they're great, you can't worry about them leaving. Which is yeah. sad to say at the University of Louisville. But... It is sad, and I, I I understand why people are like people have been giving me shit tonight for being negative. But like until you when you sit here and you think about it and you realize that exact thing, it's like holy shit, man, this is not the same anymore. We don't hold the same weight anymore that we used to. Yeah, uh, I, I I'm not ready to go that far just yet, but officially we'll, we'll a football school, boys. Yeah, go Jeff. Thank you for coming home, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff, for saving us. <laughs> We're not worthy. Yeah. What do we think, guys? We we want to wrap it. Yeah, I'm good with it. Before you tap it, Connor, give your last words. Please, God, give us Will Wade. <laughs> yeah. Wade is the way, man. Where there's a will, there's a Wade. And that's a Wade for Wade. Yeah, that, 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 is our, that is our way out of this. I, I mean, I, that, that's the answer. It's, it's easy. It's right there in your face. Stop, stop trying to look away from it and just, just, just embrace it. it. It that is the way out of this. It's Will Wade. He would be the right hire. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, it's time to take off the training wheels. Can't play it safe anymore. You got to go with a, the best basketball coach out there that you can get, regardless of the background. As long as as long as your background check checks out. Um, so. I'm on the, I've always been on the Will Wade bandwagon. I'm still there. Time, time to listen to people and listen to the fans who have been neglected for the past seven years. Yeah. Do something for us. Get us back in the stadium. 
get us excited about basketball again. Get Ty out of depression up in that center <laughs> screen. <laughs> and make him stop thinking about stinky shots. That make us good. That's my that that's that's all I have. I yeah. hate that I, I hate that I have the last thoughts because I've been I've been so damn negative all night long. Um Stinky Shaka. I don't know how to wrap this up, guys. I I want I want to be positive, man. I want to be positive. I want to get back to having fun with basketball. Um I just it's I need it to happen. I need I need something. I need something because this is just another night of embarrassment, disappointment, and um, it, it – that's all I got to say. I'm, hey. just, I'm just so tired of the disappointment and the embarrassment, and I want I want to be proud of this program again. I want to be proud. This yeah. is what got me into when I was a kid being a Louisville fan. I remember – I remember vividly going to watch Reese Gaines play in Freedom Hall and, and and like how cool I thought that was, and I want to feel proud of this program again. And I I really hope I hope that Josh can figure this out. But I I just right now I have no confidence in it. And I hope hope someone can kind of give me some 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 just you know uh, uh something. Just give me something. I um... yeah. I mean you know you we got to quit saying it can't get any worse. We keep saying that, <laughs> and it keeps it happening. It but like I've worse. also said, like I've also said, never say never. Okay, like it's never, it's never done until it's done. So, what what you got, Ash? My thing is, everybody's angry. I, I've said this many times now. Mm -hmm. We're all embarrassed. We're tired of things embarrassing our university especially those of us that attended the university those of us that have a pride for saying that we are university of louisville graduates i am a third generation graduate this stuff has me furious i'm tired of talking to people across the country that i know and and being and not wanting to brag on my university, not wanting to even bring up the subject of college basketball anymore. Yeah. I, I'm so tired of that. I, I'm very proud to be a University of Louisville alumnus, and I want to be able to talk about my alma mater again. And to do so, I think that Josh Hurd has to embrace the black hat, embrace whatever comes with that, say i don't care what you think about us anymore we are going to take the rogue personality hire will wade let's get back to the tournament and let's piss people off because yeah. i want to win basketball yeah. games yeah go cards go cards man go cards go Krogren.